Well, the Oklahoma County Jail has been no stranger to controversy and tragedy over the years. You know that. But now calls to address some of those issues are being answered. News 4's John Hayes is looking over a new report from a group created years ago to keep things on track. And John, this is good news as the jail still faces big challenges. It certainly is, Kevin. It's hard to ignore multiple high profile legal battles, though, in recent months and numerous lives lost inside the jail this year. Acknowledgement from the advisory council's executive director, though, there is more work to be done. I mean, this is government. It's never going to be perfect. The executive director of Oklahoma County's Criminal Justice Advisory Council says this report is proof efforts to clear up concerns at the jail are working. For uh, the middle part of our fiscal year, December, November, January, our jail population got down lower than Tulsa County. Timothy Tardibono says the national nonprofit Crime and Justice Institute crunched the number, citing a 27 year low in December of less than 1,300 inmates for Oklahoma County compared to Tulsa's at a little less than 1,400. Attributed in part to progress on diversion programs, which aim to help folks experiencing mental health or other crises. Justice doesn't mean incarceration. Justice means accountability. But Tardy Bono understands it's just as important to make sure every inmate who still ends up in the jail is safe with the facility, which has already seen six deaths this year. The jail has revamped their processes after one of these incidents occur to look at what's happening and the district attorney has gotten involved to make sure there's no wrongdoing. Also acknowledging the openness and transparency in this report, directly in contrast to a legal battle stopping surprise jail inspections from the state health department. We'll see what the judges say as to whether the health department has the statutory authority to do what they want to do. The executive director says he hopes a new jail site will also keep the positive momentum going. But as some of you may remember, that's also in another legal stalemate. We'll look for your follow-up.